afternoon and welcome to our reception honoring our First Lady Toinette Jenkins. Very often the term First Lady is the designation used to refer to the wife of the head of an institution. But our First Lady, Toinette Jenkins, brings such a range of talent exuding grace, intelligence, and dedication of service to Coppin State University, adding a refreshing twist on the status of First Lady. Toinette Jenkins became the First Lady of Coppin State University on May 26, 2020. An established investigator, criminal intelligence analyst, and wellness advocate, she is committed to fostering opportunities for personal empowerment, inclusion, and advocating on a range of health and social issues. She has nursed a commitment to working for social change, earning a bachelor's degree in criminal justice from Shaw University, a master's degree from Virginia Tech University, and certification as a criminal intelligence analyst from California State at Sacramento. An advocate for crime reduction, Toinette has worked alongside federal agents as well as state and local law enforcement providing critical criminal intelligence. Maintaining this consistent desire to make every community that she touches better than she founded, she has served on organizations and boards like the YWCA Executive Board of Charleston, West Virginia and the Kanawha County Library Board of West Virginia. She is a member of the illustrious Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated and the Lynx Incorporated. She has two amazing daughters, Ashley and Alicia, and she just happens to be married to Coppin State President Anthony Jenkins. But as you can see, the term first lady holds a different connotation for ours. Used to denote a woman who occupies the foremost social position within a particular place, especially popular in Africa, where the preeminent female noble in some hierarchies is often referred to as first lady. It has become commonplace in the United States for the title of first lady to be bestowed on women as a term of endearment who have proven themselves to be of exceptional talent or unique notoriety in non-political areas. Certainly, she comes to Coppin as a formidable woman in her own right, and we are delighted to welcome her. Please join me as we express our excitement in welcoming Coppin State University's First Lady, Toinette Jenkins. The First Lady will have an opportunity to greet all of you later in the program, but first, we'd like her to sit back and all of you enjoy your tea while we give her a warm cop and eagle welcome from around the campus. We will begin with a welcome from our most important people, our students, led by Mr. Coppin, Dominic Russell, followed by SGA President Essence Bennett. Essence, are you there? Yes, I am. Go ahead. Good morning, everyone. How are you? Hey, you all look lovely, by the way. Just want to add. <laughs> um, so my name is Essence Bennett. I'm currently serving as the SGA president for this school year. Um, to First Lady, I know you sacrificed a great deal for our school's family. This is why we want to let you know that we do see you. We see the times that you must rearrange or delay your own plans when something happens to us, just so President Jenkins can stop what he is doing to support us in this time of uncertainty, challenge, and celebration. For that, we say thank you. We want you to be just as included in our campus community, our school, and to be that familiar face for students to see while walking across campus. Excitement is an understatement for us to be here with you, and when we think about all the opportunities there will be for the campus to be involved with you. I know we haven't had the chance to officially meet before now, but I would like to offer a warm welcome on behalf of the Student Government Association and the Coppin State family. Thank you and welcome. Thank you, Essence. Next, we will have a welcome by division uh, and that will be brought on behalf of the Vice Presidents of the Institution.
Good morning, First Lady Jenkins. I am Karen Barlin, Registrar at the University, and it is my pleasure to bring you greetings on behalf of Dr. Michael Freeman, Vice President for Enrollment Management and Student Affairs, and all the incredible staff and students of the division. We welcome you to the Coppin family where blue and gold reign supreme. Our blue signifying trust, responsibility, honesty, and loyalty, and our gold representing the color of success, achievement, and triumph. Enrollment Management and Student Affairs proudly supports the mission of the university to provide educational access and diverse opportunities to our multi-generational and first-generation students. From the admissions office to student activities, from housing to first-year experience, from counseling to international student services, from the registrar's office to, the un to university relations, from student conduct to residence life, from career services to financial aid and campus recreation and wellness. We welcome you. We thank you for your service. We cannot wait to meet you on campus and greet you with that old Coppin spirit. Go Coppin. Go Coppin. Thank you so much. That was beautiful. <laughs> Good afternoon, First Lady Jenkins. This is Derek Carter, Director of Athletics. And on behalf of the coaches, the staff, and more importantly, our student athletes, we welcome you to Coppin State University. We've seen you support our men's and women's basketball program, and we look forward to seeing you at many of our spring events. Our student athletes are thrilled to know that you're here. They're thrilled to be able to meet you one day. I think you will be very impressed with the, the attention our student athletes pay to being successful in their sports, but also being successful in the classroom and the community. And we're all excited to have you here and we look forward to many years of success. And I'm gonna go on a limb and say many years of championships and championship rings for you. Thank you very much and welcome. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to that as well. Good afternoon, Mrs. Jenkins. My name is Steve Danik. I have the pleasure of serving as the university's vice president for administration and finance. And I'm in my sixth year with the university. On behalf of the over 90 employees in my division, which encompass the finance and budget area, public safety, human resources, facilities, and procurement and business services. I can't tell you how excited we are to have you and your family here with us. Uh, it goes without saying, Dr. Jenkins is our leader, but we understand he's got an extremely difficult job to do. And without the support of his wife and his family, that job is virtually impossible. So having seen the support he gets from his home base really gives me a lot of excitement knowing that we've got some really bright days ahead for the university and I'm excited and look forward to the future. Thank you. Thank you, I appreciate that. I'm Ahmed al the Vice President for Social Advancement and Information Technology. On behalf of my hardworking, dedicated, talented staff in advancement and my innovative, creative staff in IT, welcome you to Coppin State University. And we'd like to see you one day on campus. Hopefully COVID will go away and we'll get a time where we can see you face to face and uh, give you tours of campus and show you uh, our, techno our award te uh, winning technology on campus. Welcome you, welcome your family and Dr. Jenkins to Coppin family. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. I look forward to that as well. Good afternoon, Mrs. Jenkins, our first lady. I am Leonti Lewis. I serve as a provost and vice president for academic affairs for my alma mater, Coppin State. So Coppin is in my blood. Uh, as Ms. Barlin talked about blue and gold, I bleed blue and gold. And so I join my voice to all the others who are welcoming you on behalf of the Division of Academic Affairs. We have amazing students who come to this institution to pursue a degree in our highly qualified programs. 
We also are served by over 250 faculty members who serve in those programs. And those faculty serve within four colleges, academic colleges that is supported by a school of graduate studies and multiple offices within the division of academic affairs. Our staff, phenomenal staff who work entirely to support students, faculty and administrators. And our administrative leaders are amazing. We do our best to hold this institution high. And so this Eagles, Eagles Nation takes great pride in welcoming you to the Eagles Nest. We know that there is work to be done and we look forward to consulting with you, to having conversations with you because we know you bring a lot that you can help us look in directions to provide opportunities for us to collaborate. And so on behalf of my alma mater, on behalf of my division of academic affairs and all we serve, welcome to Coppin State. Go Eagles. Go Eagles. Thank you so much. That was beautiful. Thank you, Dr. Lewis and the rest of our vice presidents and Karen Barlin on behalf of Enrollment Management and Student Affairs for bringing those wonderful um, welcoming remarks for our First Lady. Um, I just wanna take a moment to acknowledge everyone, our uh, all of our Coppin community who has joined us today. Um, First Lady Jenkins, we have um, not only faculty, staff, and students, but we also have uh, members of our foundation board who have joined us today as well. And you'll notice that many of us are displaying our Coffin State University virtual backgrounds because we know that everybody is kind of tired of this virtual environment. Um, but the limitations that the pandemic has put on us um, have prevented us from being able to do this for you in person. Certainly, we are all looking forward to the opportunity to host you and welcome you to the campus in person. Um, and of course, you've already been to the campus in um, differing capacities since your arrival last May, but we uh, just welcome the opportunity to be able to do this in a, an in-person format. I want to also thank everyone for dressing the part. You'll notice that uh, many of us are wearing um, hats or fascinators and other headwear, brightly co bright colors, and also our coffin colors. Um, the idea was to present this as a reception tea for you. Um, and many of us are also enjoying our coffin tea. <laughs> I'll let everyone know that uh, we did um, deliver some gifts, some coffin love gifts, gifts of love to the first lady, um, which also include a, a tea set for her, for her to sit back and enjoy um, our welcome reception for her today. And so next, uh, we will go into a welcome from each of the four colleges um, led by our deans. You'll hear from three of our deans, and then you'll hear from a fourth dean later in the program. Uh, we will start with uh, the College of Behavioral and Social Sciences. Dr. O'Brien, you're muted. Good afternoon, First Lady Jenkins, Soror Twinette, and fellow Washingtonian. I'm Beverly O'Brien. I'm Dean of the College of Behavioral and Social Sciences, known as CBSS. And I bring you the warmest of greetings from all of the faculty, the staff, and the students in CBSS, a college that actually represents all of your academic disciplines and passions. We welcome you not only as our first lady, but as a respected criminal intelligence analyst who has worked with federal, state, and local law enforcement, as well as with individual and focused your commitment for social change, equity, and fairness, all activities that go on in CBSS. And because you have worked alongside with our nation's finest, from policing to the district attorney's office, from executive boards to service organizations, always seeking to help others find that better version of themselves, as you call it, that lies within, I can assure you the biggest, most wonderful academic rush of a lifetime from engagement with our faculty, staff, and students from undergraduate to graduate or certificate programs because we have those in criminal justice, in psychology, in counseling, in social work, in political science, in social science. We have them in urgent studies and nonprofit leadership. And we have certificate programs in forensic investigation, policing strategies, and investigative sciences, 
and we have the, the, the uh, Bishop Robinson Justice Institute and the Center for the Dorothy Height Center for Social Justice. So for you to touch any one of these areas as an observer, as an expert, as a guest lecturer would be welcomed by the faculty and staff and a true blessing for our students. There is so much you are going to love about Coppin State University, and you'll absolutely relish the time you're going to have with your collegial kinfolk in CBSS. So please know that we're excited about your presence here. We welcome you with the gentlest of elbow bumps because that's all we can give you right now until we can give you that great big bear hug that we feel when hopefully we'll see you in the not too distant future. So on behalf of CBSS and all of our faculty, staff and students, welcome, 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 Madam First Lady Jenkins. Go Eagles. Thank you so much. I am so looking forward to connecting with you all as well. <laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon to you, First Lady Jenkins. I had the pleasure of meeting you earlier during your time here, and we're so delighted that also that you've been able to participate in one of our events that I'm aware of in the College of Health Professions. As the Dean of the College of Health Professions, Tracy Murray, along with the faculty, staff, the students, we welcome you here with gratitude. We're so thankful that you are interested in health professions, um, nursing and allied health. Within our college, you will find the first doctoral program and the only DMP program at an HBCU within the, within the state, as well as you also find the only baccalaureate program in health information management within the state of Maryland. We know that your passion does lie also in healthcare. And so we're delighted that those aspects are related to breast cancer awareness that you're able to participate in that program, but we do hope that you'll be able to come back and be one of our future speakers during one of our upcoming programs. Your husband spoke about your interest and your passion about that in your prior walks in breast cancer awareness, and we do that on an annual basis also. So hopefully you'll join us and the athletes when we do those particular walks. In this month, as Angela mentioned, about love, of course, that worries about love, and also it's about heart health and protection. And so I did see you wearing a red dress and we do Red Dress Sunday. So it is very fitting that you are in the right place at the right time because you connect wholeheartedly with all the things that Coppin State University is about. With gratitude, we welcome you here. We know it'll be a transformative experience. We are focused on the positive and the positive energies. We thank you for your time and your presence that you provide already and that we anticipate will come in the future. I'm modifying this version of a statement from Maya Angelou, but we want to ask you to continue to be that rainbow and see us use cloud and be a rainbow of hope. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for supporting Coppin and also your husband and you have a beautiful family and we know it's not easy, but thank you so much. Go Eagles. Good afternoon, Lady Jenkins. My name is Judy Gregory. I'm the interim Dean of the College of Business. On behalf of the entire College of Business, I bring you a heartfelt welcome to Coppin State University. We're delighted to have you on board and to be a part of this Coppin community. I look forward to really having the opportunity to introduce you to the wonderful people in the College of Business, an awesome faculty, staff, and student population. We house the traditional business programs and accounting, management information systems, marketing, general management, and sports management. To say the least, we are working hard to move forward to introduce new and innovative programs and activities. And we look forward to having you join us and being a part of some of these programs. We understand that the marketplace has changed significantly. And so we've been hard at work trying to reshape and re envision the College of Business to be ready for the, to prepare students for the global society in which we live. So again, thank you for being a part of our Coppin community. We look forward to having you participate in some of our activities when your schedule permits. And we'd like to just say, 
we want to be a part of being a part, have you be a part of the Coppin family and join us on our beautiful campus real soon. Thank you. Next, we will have uh, remarks on behalf of our faculty by Dr. Erica Covington, followed by remarks on behalf of the adjunct faculty by Dr. Sanithia Green. Good afternoon. Again, my name is Dr. Erica Covington, uh, and I would like to just say good afternoon to our beautiful and intelligent Madam First Lady Jenkins and to everyone joining us on this special day. On behalf of the Faculty Senate, I would like to extend a sincere and warm welcome to our First Lady. We are extremely proud and happy to have the vibrance and strength of your presence, and not merely in the visual sense, but in the many impactful ways that only a true First Lady can. As faculty, we consider ourselves as the working arm of the university and of our president. And much like the quintessential partnership of a marriage, our faculty is your partner, and we are delighted to support our new president and our first lady. And as the saying goes, behind every strong leader is an even stronger woman. And maybe I indulged a bit, but it's a pleasure to have you join us in this high tea today. Welcome. Dr. Green. Uh, Dr. Green, you're on mute. There we go. Good afternoon. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Good afternoon, First Lady, and, and to all of our uh, wonderful colleagues uh, this afternoon. First Lady, I'm so excited to, uh, to be here today uh, to join us in welcoming you to our wonderful Coppin State University. Um, happy to have had the pleasure to have met you um, and I'm looking forward to all of the wonderful things that, that you're going to bring to, um, to help support not only um, our adjunct faculty, but our entire campus community, particularly um, our young ladies. And so I was really, really excited about today's tea um, when I saw the invitation to come and to dress up and to wear our hats and our dainty gloves and our things. And so this was a really, really, really wonderful experience. And so welcome to Coppin State University. Go Coppin. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Green. Uh, we'll now have a staff welcome and we have uh, Staff Senate Chair Anthony Littlejohn. Good afternoon, First Lady Jenkins. Uh, before I say anything, I have someone who also wanted to say hello. I gotta change my background or you won't see my friend. Uh, what do you know? Um, what was that you said? Uh, on behalf of Eagles Everywhere, Welcome to the Eagle Nation. Um, on a serious note though, I know that uh, Dr. Jenkins applied to be our camp, uh, our president, um, but I also know that that means you chose us as well and your family chose us. So I just wanna say thank you for sharing your family with this family. And uh, on behalf of all the staff in all corners of the campus, uh, welcome. And we can't wait to see you in person. We'll now have um, remarks. We have another student welcome. On behalf of the students representing uh, the university is Mr. Coppin, Dominic Russell. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for having me. On behalf of the Royal Accord, we'd like to let, thank you and welcome, but most likely most, 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 most love and most welcome from the Royal Court because we've, we've seen how much you interact with the students and with the campus. And we've never seen somebody with so much passion and love for the students, even if it's virtual background. So for you to have that much love and have that much power and influence over the students, just through a screen, we really do appreciate you. And we really do appreciate the love. And we send love back and we can't wait to see you in person. Thank you, Dominic. 
I, I don't want to show too much bias in taking over the program, but this next uh, person is bringing remarks on behalf of our campus chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. As a fellow member, I am, it is my pleasure to welcome Ms. Ayana Arrington, who serves as the chapter president. Thank you. <laughs> and ski we to all my sorors. Um, I would like to say good afternoon to everyone and a special greeting to our First Lady, Ms. Jenkins. My name is Ayanna Arrington, a graduating senior, criminal justice major, with the pleasure of serving as the president of the oh-so-elegant Epsilon Kappa chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. On behalf of our Coppin State University chapter here on campus, I would like to formally give a warm welcome to our very own First Lady. As a soror, I am honored to have a humble woman of distinction to serve as our first lady at our illustrious university. I am positive that her poise and elegance will radiate through every facet of this campus. You have and will continue to serve diligently alongside your husband to uplift yet another historically black university. Thank you for serving as a model of our purpose of service to all mankind. Our chapter is excited, willing, and ready to work with you in any capacity available and necessary. We wish you luck and success in all future endeavors here at our beloved Coppin State University. And just to put the bow on this gift that is Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, uh, we have remarks on behalf of our campus staff sorority sisters being brought by Dr. Kesslyn Braid Stennis. Greetings, First Lady Soror Jenkins. It is our esteemed honor to formally welcome you and to our beloved Coppin State University. On behalf of your sisters, the Sorors of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, who are employed here at this great institution, we want you to know that we fully welcome you. Here at Coppin State, we embrace Fanny Jackson Coppin's words she said, love wins when everything else will fail. We are fully, we also fully embrace the concepts of merit and culture. And finally, we embrace the efforts to serve all humankind, especially our students here at Coppin State University. First Lady Jenkins, we fully embrace you as our first lady, our fearless sister, and our flying eagle. You are our sister as such, you are welcome to join us at our monthly gatherings. You are our sister. As such, we invite and we invite you to provide sisterly feedback. You are our sister, and we welcome you to share your vision with us so that we, your sisters, can support you. You are our sister, and we love you as sisters do. Someone once said that sisterhood is the essence of all wisdom of the ages, distilled into one single word. You cannot see sisterhood, nor can you hear it, nor taste it, but you can feel it in a hundred times a day. It's a part of the, the back, a smile of encouragement. It's a pat, it's someone to share with, to celebrate your achievements. First Lady Soror Jenkins, you are our sister. And the ladies of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated who are employed here at Coppin State University welcome you into the sisterhood. And while we formally extended a welcome when we sent you, we hope you received the beautiful bouquet of pink roses with ivy and the virtual messages. We look forward to the day when we can see you face to face and hug you as sisters do. But until then, we welcome you here to the sisterhood at Coppin State University. You are our sister. Thank you so much, Sora Kesslin. Uh, earlier in the program, I mentioned that we were starting with one of our most important groups, and certainly that is our students. I don't think that anyone would argue that next on that list is certainly our alums. And on behalf of the Alumni Association, um, we, are sa we save this, the alums, for closer to the end of the program because uh, the person who's bringing these remarks 
serves in multiple capacities, denoting her importance and contribution to the university. The alumni welcome will also uh, include a welcome on behalf of the College of Arts, Sciences and Education and on behalf of the School of Graduate Studies, all led by Dr. Mary Owens Southall. Good afternoon to everyone and a special warm welcome to Coppin State University's First Lady, Mrs. Jenkins. Welcome to our beautiful campus, which serves as a solid anchor in this community of West Baltimore and where academic and professional preparation of students is our major focus and legacies are born. I bring warm greetings on behalf of the School of Graduate Studies where global professionals and leaders are prepared. A warm welcome is extended on behalf of CASE, the College of Arts and Sciences and Education, where faculty and staff are highly recognized as experts in their disciplines and include authors, actors, researchers, and innovators, but who are first educators offering premier programs in the sciences, mathematics, and computer science, the humanities, which include history and the arts, and the Legacy Foundation of Coppin State University Education. It is also my honor to bring greetings on behalf of Coppin State University National Alumni Association, its esteemed executive board and alumni membership. As alumni of Coppin State University, we will continue to show our appreciation and dedication to this wonderful university through acts of support and pledges of resources. On behalf of Graduate Studies, the College of Arts and Sciences and Education and the National Alumni Association, welcome to the historical and renowned Coppin State University, an institution that makes a difference every day in this community and far beyond. We look forward to working with you. Thank you. Thank you. And now on behalf of the Coppin State University Development Foundation, here to bring remarks is the board chair, Alicia Ritchie. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, First Lady Jenkins. I'm Alicia Ritchie and I chair the Coppin State University Development Foundation. I'm also a Coppin alumna who bleeds blue and gold. I echo all of the sentiments of my fellow Coppin family members. And on behalf of the foundation board, I bring you and the entire Jenkins family the warmest of welcomes to Coppin. We are all excited to have you here and look forward to seeing you in person and working with you in the very near future. Again, welcome. Thank you, Alicia. Um, I think I may have neglected to let everyone who perhaps does not know who I am. Uh, my name is Angela Galliano and I serve as Chief of Staff and Associate Counsel to the President here at Coppin State University. And that basically means that if you didn't like today's program, you can just call me to let me know. <laughs> Um, we wanted to make sure that we let everybody know about some of the things that we, um, some of the gifts of love um, that we have uh, had delivered to our first lady um, in true fashion of welcoming her as an eagle to the eagle family, the eagle nation. Um, she has received some athletic gear, so she'll have the opportunity to dress as a true, a true Coppinite whenever we see her on campus um, and whenever we can all hopefully attend our athletic events in person. Uh, so now we will um, not delay remarks from our president, President Anthony Jenkins, followed by remarks by our first lady, Toinette Jenkins. Oh, Angela, how are you doing? How is everyone doing? We're doing great. Well, listen, you all look wonderful. Look at those beautiful hats. Yeah. You all are in style, uh, as they would say, showing off Coppin at its best. So thank you all very much. Uh, I just wanted to stop in and say um, uh, thank you all for your love and your support. Thank you for welcoming us and the First Lady into the uh, Coppin family. This was a wonderful display. Um, and the, the flowers that you all have sent and the other gifts uh, have just been outstanding. 
So thank you very much. Uh, with that, I'm going to get out of the way, let you all get back to uh, the more important things. Uh, but I tell you, I definitely hope you all take some, some selfies and send those in so we can tweet some of that out and uh, show folks all around Maryland and beyond how we do it at Coppin State University. All right. But again, thank you all. Greatly appreciate you. And if I don't get a chance to talk to you uh, anymore today, enjoy the rest of your day. All right. All right. Enjoy. Thank you. Talk to you later. This has been fantastic. I raised my my tea, my beautiful little teacup, and blue and gold to each of you. This has truly been fantastic. Thank you so much for this beautiful meet and greet. To everyone who took time out of their busy schedule to join me here today for tea, it truly means a lot. I am excited to be a part of the Eagle Nation. And I match my husband's enthusiasm when I too say that I look forward to continuing to propel Coppin State forward. What drives me is the belief that I should always give and help wherever I am to help each community that I pass through better in some way. And so with that being said, if I can be of service to anyone, please let me or the president staff know I would be honored to help you. I would be remiss if I didn't say thank you to our, our president, my beautiful husband for allowing this to happen today, um, as well as to Angela, his chief of staff for spearheading this beautiful event. It was fantastic. I loved everything. You were awesome down to the finest little details and to the rest of the president staff and to everyone that assisted here in some capacity. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. But the gifts you guys were amazing. I am ready for the games. I am ready to show up in my cop and gear. Everything was absolutely fantastic. And this beautiful little teacup, how did you find this in the perfect colors of the university? It was so beautiful. But I, I'm going to get you all. I was ready and prepared until the flowers came. They were absolutely stunning. So I just want to say thank you to everyone that came and showed up today. It means a lot. I look forward to getting to know you more, to my sorority that showed up, to the beautiful words, to my sisters that really meant a lot. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. We are ready and excited to do some great things here at Coppin. And so I am excited and look forward to the future. Thank you so much, you all. Thank you, Madam First Lady. And again, we want to welcome you. Thank you to everyone in the Coppin State University campus community and outside the community, our alums, our uh, foundation board members for joining us today. Um, I, I know that a lot of people are, are either have asked or going to ask when, how can I get in contact with the First Lady? I wanna tell her about all of these ideas that I have. And as she stated, she is, is um, you know, well, waiting and she welcomes that um, information and feedback. Right now, you can contact the president staff. You can either contact me, Daphne Thomas, or Erin Brooks, and we will make sure that any messages that you have are relayed to her. And we will be um, releasing to the campus soon further cop and contact information on how to get in contact with her. So with that, I would like to again say thank you for joining us today. Stay tuned for more virtual interaction with the from the president's office and of course with the first lady and uh, have remembered to stay remain cop and strong as our president says, keep your masks on and go Eagles. Thank you guys. Go Eagles. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Click your camera. I don't know how. Just click on the camera. Like I told you. Thank you. Have a good one. All right, do you click it off?